We're going to the beach. Yeah. yeah. You come out and you're like, I'm fabulous. All I'm going to say is not what I expected. So I do. More of this, please. <laughs> I'm doing a content shoot for the roommate, my other project. Tonight is going to be so fun. I'm going to meet Chelsea Callahan. <laughs> I'm currently in Poughkeepsie. Why Poughkeepsie, you ask? There is a new musical theater festival that happens up here in New York Stage and Film every single year. I saw a show up here last year, seeing a couple of new shows this year, and I'm consulting on one, which is amazing. In case you're new here, my name is Katherine Quinn. I am a 30-something living in New York City, working on Broadway. Last year, I worked on Shucked and How to Dance in Ohio. This year, I'm working on The Great Gatsby, The Roommate, other shows TBD. As always, the vlog fam is the first to find out. I've had different roles on Broadway. I've been on choreo teams, I've been on writing teams, and I'm now in marketing. Marketing. I'm so excited. I'm I'm about to go see this show. I got to see a sneak peek during their tech and you know, it's nerve wracking because like I'm doing my absolute best to not attach myself to projects that I don't really believe in and like that I can drink the Kool-Aid and I can like sell because that's my job. And that means that I have to be able to be a fangirl over it, which means I need to like it. And already from what I've seen, I'm gonna like it. So like, yeah. It's great. I just love new musical theater. I love developmental theater. It's so good. So this whole week is going to be a rock and roller coaster. I have a big Gatsby event that I'm going to take you to on a rooftop with Dandy Wellington. I'll show a photo of a, him up here. He's the best. I'm doing a content shoot for The Roommate, my other project. It's a big week, so I'm going to take you along. Thank you for being here and happy Friday. Let's do it. <laughs> It's the next day, boo surprise. The show's really cool. I love being brought in this early in the process. There's a lot of really cool stuff, especially this early in its development. Like there's so much potential here and so much stuff that's already working. Yeah, I just got to meet with the creative team and the producers. They were so great and receptive. And my God, the difference it makes getting to join a process early. <sighs> More of this, please. <laughs> okay, that's it. Beach time. Just a mere 25 minutes from my house, which is so amazing. It's so good. And I conned my friends into agreeing to go to David Buster's with me. <laughs> I've never been. David I, Buster's do, I barely know what David Buster's is. You've been, right? I've never, well, maybe. Wow. It must be said that we are using my gift from Jack O'Brien from opening night of Shucked from Jack and his dog. And that was appropriate because we're working together again. And he sort of remembered me. He's 85. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yes, Edward. Yes. I have to go up in frame. The legs are just so long. Come on. Nice, Edward. We are getting prizes. Look. Dave and Buster's. Look. Look at our swag. Look at our swag. D and B. Mung bean. Uh, <laughs> everybody say mung bean. Oh my gosh, y'all! It has been such a Monday. My hair is greasy because it's like a sauna outside in New York City. It's like two seconds, and immediately you're just like wet rat. It's really cute. But I'm gonna shower and put in some extensions because we're gonna do something really fun. Okay. Today has been good. Quick recap of the day. New York Times article came out. The New York Times article about Gatsby Social is on the internet. Crazy. My photo has been in the New York Times twice before, once for Cabaret in 2011 and once demonstrating some choreography for Hercules at the public in 2018. But this is the first time it's like Catherine Quinn, my name and my age. Uh, it almost came out before I turned 35 and I really wanted it to, but my pride and my age and my youth, it's fine. It's fine. This afternoon, I'm gonna go to a movie screening. I'm gonna go see It Ends With Us with Blake Lively. Like, Blake Lively will literally be there. I hope I keep my cool. She's amazing. You know what's underrated is A Simple Favor. I loved that movie. Her and Anna Kendrick, but like very low key queer vibes or like high key queer vibes. Anyway, I think it's gonna be the debut of my extensions. So I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and do my hair and let's get ready to go to a screening with Meta. These extensions don't match. How much do I care? Yeah, that doesn't look right. I swear it doesn't look as bad in real life. Let's put a natural light. Oh, well, no, it's definitely still bad. Here's the problem, friends. I'm late. All right, let's take these out. Mm. Fixed it. Flyaways. Let's go. Me and 
Blake Lively. I'm cutting her face. We're friends. Hi, you can't see me. And I'm not fancy the way that Sydney is using a front flash. Wow. Wow. I'm a spooky ghost now. We're waiting for the talk back currently. I definitely thought it was going to be like a silly little hetero romance. No. No. Oh, I was wrong. I did. I got verklempt. And I don't really cry. I'm a shrew. And I kind of like I'm generally over straight stories, but I was really into it. <laughs> Fashionably, like, like literally <laughs> one minute late. That's it. Yeah. We're on the first oh, question. Look how cute my cup is. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen's biggest fans in Dallas at Book Bonanza. Were you there? I was. Yeah! It's easier to be self-deprecating. Like when you're a kid, you come out and you're like, I'm fabulous. And then you learn to like, to lean into your insecurities and, and, and lead with that. And then you get to a point in your life where you're like, oh no, I can actually see my value as well. Thank you all for seeing the movie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you to awkwardly like walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Blake Lively is so beautiful and also very talented, but just like so beautiful. She's also one of those girls, I was saying this to Sydney who came with me, which PS, if you watch the vlogs, you know, but like Tia and I are still together. Sydney was like, oh my God, I had to like scroll back through your Instagram feed to make sure y'all were still together. And I just like, don't think about it because like I don't post us on Instagram all the time together, but they're always in my YouTube videos. <sighs> Sydney so you should be watching my YouTube videos. Okay, the movie. First of all, event was very cool. So grateful to be invited. It is one of the best parts of living in New York City and working in media. And I hope I get invited to more things like that because I genuinely love it. I love talkbacks. I'm a nerd. Okay, I have not read It Ends With Us. And to be totally honest with you, I tried reading Verity and was not able to get into it. I was like, this is not for me. I can do this spoiler free. All I'm going to say is not what I expected. And when the movie started, I was like, no, this is like a, you know, silly romance movie. Boy, did I have the wrong idea about what that story is, but I really enjoyed it. Although, okay, this part's gonna have spoilers. So if you plan on watching or reading It Ends With Us, then skip to this time. Um, great. If my husband had assaulted me multiple times, like I'm trying to avoid using big, scary, scary words. He would not be allowed to hold my baby in the hospital and he definitely wouldn't get partial custody, so. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. The talk about is super interesting. Colleen Hoover is a brilliant businesswoman. So is Blake Lively for that matter. And at the event they had um, Blake Lively's booze company. Betty's Booze, Betty's Boozy Betty, something like that. Super cute. Oh my God, the most exciting thing tomorrow is I'm gonna meet Chelsea Callahan. Okay, well, that's not true. I've already met Chelsea Callahan because I invited her. She is a YouTuber here. She has over 100,000 subscribers. She's got that plaque, that shiny, shiny 100K plaque. She does realistic 30 something vlogs in the city. And I don't even know when I started following her, like probably a year ago, I invited her to Gatsby and she came, which was awesome. So we're gonna hang and I'm really excited because I think we're gonna vibe. I'm gonna read my bisexual book, Old Enough. And then go to bed. I'm so lucky to live this life. That's it. Bye. Hi. It's Tuesday. It's been crazy. But when isn't it? I think I might need a business coach. And I talk myself out of it because I'm like, Catherine, you coach. But I think it might be a little bit like therapists need therapy. Like, I may be an expert in something. But like, I genuinely need someone with an outside perspective to like look at my life and systems and be like, here's how we need to optimize all of this so that you can accomplish everything. But life is good. Life is good. Tonight is gonna be so fun. I'm gonna meet Chelsea Callahan. Well, again, we've met, but we're gonna hang and I'm so excited. I really, you know, the internet has definitely been net. <laughs> the internet has been net positive for me in life. I've made some very good friends. Without it, I would not have remained in such wonderful contact with people through shutdown. Like I have Marco Polo threads 
that go back to 2020. Marco Polo threads that are four years old where we polo almost every single day. Such a gift. Anyway, that's that. Just had a roommate meeting, had a Gatsby meeting earlier, had a voiceover strategy session. Everything's moving and shaking and everything's good. And you know what I did? Can I tell you what I did? I did something so silly, but really exciting. And I just can't help myself. I got, it wasn't even a new idea. I've had hopes and dreams for And That Showbiz that I haven't had time to execute, because duh. And That Showbiz is my social media company is through which I run social media for The Great Gatsby and The Roommate on Broadway, other shows TBD. Vlog fam, first to find out, you know the drill. There is some stuff I've wanted to produce for And That Showbiz for like nine months now. And I just had my first official call about producing one of those things. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go to the dog park. Y'all are the best. Okay, oops. Yep. Yeah, welcome to the break. Chelsea Callahan is every bit as charming and lovely and gracious and funny as you think she is. If you're not following her, you should change that. And now we're gonna be real life friends. And now I'm gonna eat tacos and watch season five of Love Island while I work. I love my jobs, I really do. You know. She just tired, right Feeny? We're tired. Hi, I've been so, I haven't done any vlogging today, even though it's been a moderately big day. It's just been a big work day. I've been doing a day in the life on TikTok. I was all in on the TikTok basket from 2021 to 2023, and then 2023 I got into YouTube, and I don't know. I can't manage more than one account at once. It's too difficult. And then Instagram is just like me posting memes and hot takes and shit. So anyway, I'm doing a day in the life for the first time in years and as a result i haven't been vlogging but yeah i'm getting ready for the american express talk back at the theater i'm excited i don't feel nervous right now but i might i just have to remember it's not about me i am a conduit i am a facilitator they're there to hear and see jeremy and eva and i'm there to make jeremy and eva feel good and comfortable it's gonna be great it's on stage and yeah i look dreadful so i'm gonna check back in when i look cuter <laughs> Just know that super graphic ultra modern girl is the song playing in my head right now. We did the thing. Goodbye, Broadway Theater. See you Saturday, probably. Ooh, actually, that's a lie. I'll see you Friday. This week is bonkers. Talk back today. Friday night is Dandy Wellington event. And then Saturday morning is Student Travel Association panel at the Sheridan for Gatsby. So it is just like the Gatsby this week. Party's roaring on. You ready to go record content with the playwright and director of The Roommate on Broadway? Jen is running late. So hopefully we still get that content because wrangling humans is tough. We're gonna make it happen. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And New York, New York's, you know? And then tonight's the event. So yeah. And I think it's gonna rain. So successful and such wonderful humans and artists. And now we make returns. How many bags can one human hold? We came, we slept, we pet, and we're gonna eat. So done with bullshit, yeah. Yeah, I'm so done with bullshit and arbitrary rules that don't do anyone any good. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with bullshit. It doesn't do anyone any good. Ultimately, it's quishes creativity. It makes everybody's jobs harder tonight. Yeah. I'm so excited to write the book on why Broadway is falling apart. Because I'm experiencing it in real time. Okay, let's go host an event with 75 people and bring those people to Gatsby. Was a 
an insane day. Gatsby panel in the morning. And then I'm taking the weekend. <sighs> okay. I'll fill y'all in tomorrow. This brings me back to my assisting days. All right, let's do a panel. Panel went so great. I really love panels. I just, I love educating about Broadway. Last night, the event was fantastic. I had a minor meltdown before the event just because there is a lot of nuance in this job and I'm doing my best. It is political and it is booby trapped. And <laughs> but yeah, I've learned so much, so much so fast because I don't have a choice. So Feeny is having a little bit of a, a weird uh, stomach thing. I don't know if any of y'all are dog owners, but his head is doing a little jerking thing. He's probably gonna get sick. Oh, is it happening right now? Tia was on FaceTime the first time he got sick tonight and literally the camera was directly on him when he got sick. So they had a front row seat, unfortunately. The panel with the student group this morning was so good. I'm so grateful to the people. Jason, our composer came. Carissa, Super Swing came. Kim Lennox, our dresser came, one of our dressers. And I'm so grateful to them because doing anything outside of work, like you think that these Broadway shows are just like the showtime, but like there's rehearsal outside of it. It is like, it's a very all encompassing, all consuming job. And there's only one day off a week, which is really not right. So them taking time to do this was incredibly kind. And the student group asked such fantastic questions. And it was also enlightening to me because it was a part of the uh, CIDA, the Student Youth Travel Association Conference. And it's massive, my goodness gracious, like truly a shocking, like, I don't know. I just like feel like all commerce is online. And then I go to a ballroom and I'm like, oh, this feels weird an analog but like useful like I don't know so old school but like important to do in person I don't know anyway making my brain hurt I am gonna wrap this vlog up here next week is another fun one I'm seeing Once Upon a Mattress and I'm seeing Job so I'll take you along for both of those more roommate shenanigans potentially a content shoot with Patty and Mia and always got to be shenanigans so stick around the party never stops as always, I invite you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at is Catherine Quinn. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, clicking like, subscribe, taking a second to comment is the surest way to let the YouTube algorithm know what wonderful people to push this video out to, people just like yourself. It really genuinely makes a difference. And most of you aren't subscribed. So say the YouTube analytics. You should change that. Anyway, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the comment section. Bye friends.